Hey everybody, it's Julie. Hey, I'm going to work on the tutorial today for the birdcage that I did. And um, this will be one of the videos that gets fast forwarded. I just want to give you a little uh, background as to what supplies you're going to need. You're going to need three of the um, Tim Holtz birdcage dies cut out in chipboard. Um, you can use recycled chipboard. It can be a cereal box or, or whatever you want, but this is a medium weight chipboard. It's a little bit thicker and you'll need three of those. And then you're going to need for the paint and for the crackle, you know, whatever kind of crackle medium you like to use. I'm going to show you a technique using white glue, um, but you can use a crackle medium if you want. It's no, no problem. So you'll need those three things, uh, or those three bird cage dies. You'll need some paint. Um, you'll need an undercoat paint. You'll need some glue and you'll also need some, um, overcoat paint, whatever you want to be on the outside. I'm using PVA glue. Um, this is like a book binding glue. You can use Elmer's white glue. It doesn't matter. It all works the same. Uh, and then I'm just going to be using a craft brown paint and a uh, Americana light buttermilk paint for the over for the top coat. And then whatever you want to decorate it with. I'm going to be using flowers and charms and beads and some wire. Um, but you can use whatever you want, whatever makes you happy. So let's get started. I'll go ahead and start fast forwarding the video right now. Thank you. 
Okay, and there we have a completely done bird cage. Um, the only thing that I didn't do with this one is I didn't color the bird because I thought that the craft cardstock looks pretty good behind there. Um, but as you can see, I've got the charm. Um, I showed you guys, I hope it was pretty clear how I put that in there. Um, but I put a charm on it. I did the little twigs. And then, of course, we have the bling on the bottom for when we hang it. Um, and this char or this birdcage is absolutely meant to be hung. It really doesn't look right sitting. So just keep that in mind. Now, um, I had a really good response to the video where I, I showed this. So I hope that this um, has done it justice. I wanted to do a Ustream, but there's been so many problems with Ustream lately that I decided that I wouldn't. I would just try and do it this way. And um, I hope it comes out okay. It's, you know, the kind of like the test run of these kind of tutorials on, um, you know, on YouTube for me. Okay, and uh, I hope that you guys like it, and make sure you leave a comment because I'm going to give away this particular birdcage to one of the commenters. You'll have uh, one week from today to make your comment on uh, this particular video, and we'll give this birdcage out to whoever wins. Okay, and I'll just pull a random number, just like I do for all of my other drawings. Okay, so I hope everybody has a great day, and we'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.